So chat GPT is taken the world with a storm. And in this video, I will give you a brief explanation what chat GPT is. So chat GPT is an AI model or artificial intelligence model. Well, not this type of model. Think of an AI model as a software program that has been trained on a set of data to perform some specific tasks. An example could be recognizing certain pattern. So in that case, the model has to be trained with the set of data, which can be used to identify that pattern. Now here, chat GPT is trained on a very large set of data available in the public domain over the internet, which includes and not limited to content in Wikipedia, Stack Overflow, and whatever data is available on the internet. Now, you might be thinking why it is called chat GPT. As the name suggests, it is a chat bot so that you need to provide request, which is called a prompt to this bot. And this bot will take that prompt and try to respond in a conversational way. So you will feel like you're talking to a person who has a massive amount of knowledge across everything in this world. So GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer. In short, this means that it generates text using sophisticated algorithms and this model has been pre-trained to understand the requirement of the person asking the prompt and it has been fed around 570 GB of the text information through crawling the internet and this public data set is also termed as common crawl which includes the text of Wikipedia and Stack Overflow. It is also described as the largest artificial neural network ever created which means it can answer questions write essays, summarize long text, translate languages, take memos, and even create computer code. So let us check some examples of how to use ChatGPT. So to create an account on ChatGPT, you need to go to this URL. I've provided the link in the description box as well. And the URL is chat.openai.com. So if you click on sign up, you can easily use your Google or Microsoft account to sign up. I've already signed up, so I can just click on login and it will redirect me to this page. So I have the prompt here and you can see there are some examples. So let us start using chat GPT. So first of all, I will just ask chat GPT a simple question. Who are you? So it is a simple question which will explain what chat GPT is all about. Now, next thing we are going to ask chat GPT some mathematical question. Can you process these mathematical problems and I am just typing some random numbers. Now this is a complex query, right? I have given a list of questions to chat GPT to process and you can see it has broken down all the list of questions and provided the answer providing the solution. What would be processed first? For example, here the bracket is processed first, then the division, and then you can say the multiplication. So it is a very good way for learning as well. Third thing, we are going to ask some historical questions. So this is a factual kind of question, which would provide some facts. And it, it is just like you are going to Wikipedia and trying to find out some of the answers. But this is a very concise list. As you say, it has summarized it beautifully, which you can use for your and response. So I'm going to generate a essay for history of computing and you can see it will write the complete essay for you. That is a, one of the biggest question. Will academically essays and projects or assignments are screwed because of chat GPT? It's very easy for a student to just write down the prompt and copy all this stuff into their assignment, right? There's a beautiful part of it, right? I will just show you. If I try to regenerate, it will give me a different copy of the same essay almost similar, but the language can be different as well. Now I will try to regenerate the response. And as you will see, there might be certain subtle differences between both the essays. It will regenerate it in a different way. However, the facts would remain same and probably the language would also remain consistent. So this is, as I said, as an assignment killer for all the students who are currently studying in universities be it in any part of the world. Now this was a very basic prompt. I can change this prompt to generate an essay and I can select the complexity of the language as well. Like I can use the language which is suitable for a maybe six year old child. And I can also limit the number of words. So as you will see, it will generate that same essay in that limited set of words and it will reduce the complexity of the language so that it is 
it is very easy for a six year child to understand use some analogies to explain computing so i'm i'm asking chat gpt to use some sort of analogy so that it's easy for the child to understand when you see all these responses are very dynamic in nature it's just mind blowing you know to look at the capabilities of chat gpt this is all fine we have an essay let's see how creative chat gpt is and we will ask chat gpt to generate a poem generate a poem that's it now i have asked chat gpt to create a poem and you see it has created a poem which is probably suitable for a 6 year old child i mean who could do that right who could be giving a poem on computing to a 6 year old kid all right now let's come to the fun part i can also use it to get the top contents like so it will try to generate the list of the top 10 books that are you know famous in computing and keep in mind this data is till 2021 so the list of books that we have would be limited to the year 2021 you can also ask chat gpt to write code for you all right so this is a very long prompt so it's just to create a, a python program where i have to input my task for the day and it will display the current status of the task that i have completed for each day and at the end of the month i should be getting a dashboard for the total tasks that i have completed per day so let's see if it's able to generate it and you can see it will write the complete code for you this means our programmers dead <laughs> i mean this is insane my only concern is the impact on students because it makes things a bit easier for them however if utilized properly it is a very efficient way for learning and that's it that's the complete program that you are looking for i can use the same prompt to generate this in a different language probably let me in go so it's a just a different programming language altogether and you can see it can write code in any programming language that's the power of ai it's just like blowing up your mind right all right so next thing i will ask chat gpt to create a resume template for me i will tell chat gpt what are the criterions all right so i gave it a prompt a random prompt to create a resume and it's just doing that for you it will create the resume you don't need to do anything and i can try to regenerate the response as well so you can see it will generate the complete resume it will give you the language as well it will give you the skills how to describe it and what to include it for your relevant experience and then you can also use some of the experience that you have now i can also use it to generate a cover letter this time i've used the same almost same prompts to generate a cover letter and you can use it to generate your own cover letters i can also have asked chat gpt to ask me some questions related to aws interview and i have only selected two you can change the prompt for multiple questions and you can provide the answers for example and you can see it will also try to give you the response based on your answer so it's a good way to test it there's some hacks that i can tell you like you can also go for questions that are asked in certifications because of the legal aspects i'm not typing the name of the certifications but you can use it to generate some random questions for the certification and it can also work as a data dump for you or kind of a brain dump for you and last but not the least you can use it during the an interview as well if you are doing a virtual interview and it happened somebody was using chat gpt in background while an interview though the interviewer knew it so you have to be smart about it how you use it <laughs> but you can possibly use chat gpt during an interview as well so these were some of the hacks some of the use cases that you can use with chat gpt in case you enjoyed this video 
do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like it share it and do let me know if you find any other use case of chat gpt there are certainly a lot of use cases of chat gpt and people have been very innovative about it please subscribe and please hit the bell icon thanks for watching this video have a great day